Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. What we're looking at here is a yard machine powered with a Power More Zhang Chin engine. This is a 2018 model year. We ended up getting this for 20 bucks in a package deal. It was three, four, sixty. And I've done video, uh, initial video on these. These are all units that just have contaminated fuel. I figured I would give you a little quick video on this Power More 132cc engine. We'll take the uh, tank off and clean the carb and put it back together again. We did a fuel sample on this. Fuel was contaminated. I don't run across a lot of these Zhang Chen's Power More engines so i figured i'd bring you along and uh, if you got one of these maybe this video will be helpful so i don't anticipate any big issues with this kind of look this over realize we have to take the recoil off first to make this job successful so why don't we do that these are 10 millimeter nuts so I've already loosened them up. That was my neighbor. He doesn't know I'm talking to you kids and cadets. So these are already loose. three of those this recoil comes off first and then this plastic shield it's got the um, emissions control information here on the back Zhang Chen so move that to the side. Mr. Rat will keep an eye on this so it doesn't go anywhere. So basically this is a 10 millimeter job. You got two 10s here. And one 10 on the top. right there that holds the uh, black plastic air filter housing so that gets loosened up I've got a container here for the old gas Okay, it looks like we need that 10 removed. Okay, loosen that up. And it looks like a couple of uh, Phillips head screws hold this top bracket down. So let me get a Phillips head. I was not prepared for that. But I am right now because I have my tools close by. We'll remove these two screws assuming this thing has never been apart since it left the factory this was assembled in china the uh, mtd production sticker says made in china with global components okay so the top top bolt is missing there we remove that two screws now it comes to these two 10 millimeter nuts i think i've done one of these but it's been a couple of years since i have so i gotta kind of re-familiarize myself with this okay there is a hose back here for the primer bulb 
let me just pop that off with the screwdriver. It doesn't want to pop off. Let me try try something else. Sorry about that. This thing's just being a bear. Let me put my um, needle nose down there and grab that air hose. That's what's holding us up. It just hasn't been... removed in a long time or ever removed somebody's calling me for a mower okay I removed the breather hose now I gotta remove the hose for the primer wow this thing's a bear wow that was a pain in the ass. This is what I was trying to get out. This thing. And then there's a hose back here. So I bent the crap out of everything. This thing was really on there. I tried removing it from that nipple right there. And it was so tight. Ended up breaking that primer hose. Hopefully it's long enough to reattach. We're going to find out. So, I'm going to remove this clamp. I've got my container nearby. We'll pour all that brown fluid out. Remove the clamp. Give it a give that hose a twist to break the seal. It feels like it's moving. Remove this gasket before I destroy it. I'm not having much luck today with rubber components. Let me uh, grab another needle nose to help me. can see it's brown. It's coming out brown. The problem is the, the fuel line is so short you don't have much wiggle room. is a disaster. Sometimes it's like that. Okay, here we go. Let that drain for a minute. Boy, that was a bear. This tank can come off too. Another two tens here. And this will come off. Which I may do once it stops draining. They're coming out brown.
speed things up. The uh, stud stayed on the tank on that side. Pretty windy today. Okay, there's uh, some crud in the fuel. I see some crud in the tank. Okay, now re we'll remove the carb and go to town on that. Hopefully I can remember how to put this thing back together again. Shouldn't be too difficult. One linkage here. So I turn my throttle wafer to the side, lift up on the linkage, and then lift up on the uh, spring as well. Put that to the side. Voila, as they would say in France. Okay, so now we're going to take the 10 millimeter nut off the bottom and see how dirty this thing is. Okay, just looking at the nut. That'll give me an indication of what it's going to look like full of rust here on the, the nut. So we're going to have a rusty bowl. And we do have a rusty bowl. Ton of um, sediment down there. Feels like rusty sand consistency, sand consistency, but it's rust. So I got to clean that out before I put it back together. I have compressed air. Let's go ahead and remove the jet, small flathead screwdriver. Back that little brass jet out. Okay, it's it's loose. You got your emulsion tube, and here's the um, the jet. Emulsion tube looks good. I don't see any blockage here. I've got a small bread wrapper wire. I'm just going to poke it through the jet there's no blockage in the jet so what we had was that rusty sand in the bowl and maybe some water so this is clean i can reinstall that emulsion tube nothing blocking that and just visually looking through all the little pinholes they're all free and clear so i'm not going to spend any time on these pinholes poking them through but if you had any debris build up you'd come along here to these pinholes push them through to the other side with your bread wrapper wire like so so that's ready to go back let me dig this out with um a screwdriver use some air on this and then put it back together there's one other jet the idle jet slow jet I want to clean that out as well and then we'll put it back just cleaned up all the rough stuff and then blasted it out with some compressed air
these wire brushes. I got three for dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree. This side really works good to get down in there in the bottom of the bowl. Just rough it up a little bit. Not to damage your O-ring. I want to be able to use that again. The bowl gasket O-ring. Okay, that's clean and ready. Blast out my emulsion tube with a little air. That's ready. The jet's free and clear. That's ready. Let me get rid of some of this debris here on the top. This is what I'm going to be removing. The uh, idle jet right here. Since I have the carb in my hand, just do a little pokey pokey. I don't think this thing's been sitting so long where I've got to deal with any kind of rust. I think it was just what we saw in the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to clean up this little bit of stuff right there with a wire brush. If it was really bad, I'd have all kinds of white caked up debris on this thing and I'd have to ultrasonic clean this. This thing is relatively clean. It's just water got in the bowl there, started rusting. Clean up some of this crud here so the, the gasket seals. I don't want any gas leaks. A little compressed air. Float needle is free and clear. So let's remove let's remove the um, throttle adjustment screw here. So I'm just going to eyeball it, figure out how far we need to put it back in. Okay, it looks like a couple of threads. So back this off. You can actually use the, the dust that's on the threads. You can see the fresh threads are clean. When you put it back in, you put it into that, that point right there. You can see the dirty threads here, clean threads at the top. So if you had a surging issue, this is what you would go for. You just pop this idle jet up, and there's a small brass jet here. You want to make sure that's clean. If you had surging, this would be something that you would check. Just clean that out. It might even be smaller than the bread wrapper. Since this is a smaller engine, 132 cc, I think. Yeah, 132. So it seems to be going in, but it's a little tight. So 
So I think we're good on this. What you can also do is take one of these finer strands like this loner right here and use that as a wire and it's it's free and clear i just was able to go into that jet with one of these fine brush wires and it did go through all the way so that's open you could take a little compressed air and blast it in there if you'd like. So this goes back in like so, push it down and now your throttle idle adjustment tab here goes back in just look at the dirty threads right about right about there is where it was set at maybe back it off just a tad something like that you can always reach around later if you don't like the RPMs at idle and just tweak this clockwise. Righty tighty if you want to increase your RPMs at idle. So that was that. Our main deal was all that rusty crapola down there. There's a little bit of white caked up crud here i may just scour that up with a green scour pad just so we have a good seal but i don't want to destroy this bowl gasket i'd have to go searching for replacement but i'm sure i've got something just take any high edges off now if this was 10 years old i'd have to replace it because it'd be so brittle but this thing's a 2018 okay that kind of smoothed out any any high marks okay <laughs> Emulsion tube goes back in first. Jet on top, drop it down in, and then start screwing away till it bottoms out on top of the emulsion tube. Don't get crazy on it. Snug it down. It's snug. Now looking at the carb fuels on this side, so I want my drain plug facing me in case I got to drain this thing again. I got access to the drain plug. Actually, I think it was facing forward like so, so you can get it from the front of the engine. So that's how I will put it back on. Yeah, I'm looking at the other Zhang Chen engine and it's drains facing forward. So that's where I'm going to set this one. So that's ready. I'm going to take a little bit of um, my wire brush action and get rid of what's caked up on here. You can see all that white dust floating off of the nut. So that's free and clear. This goes back on. Don't forget your O-ring gasket. If 
for the bowl nut. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to hand tighten this one. I'm not going to use my impact. I want to feel how tight I'm getting it. I don't want to go crazy and torque it. I just want it snug like that. Okay, it's ready to go back on. Everything here has been taken care of. Okay, so what I'll do is the uh, spring first. Put the spring in that hole. Since I got room to manipulate spring first. Turn the throttle full open, then I can put my linkage in. That goes down. That's free and clear. Push it on. Now we're ready for, we'll do the tank. That way we got access to this. So tank next. Off camera, I'm just going to blast some compressed air in here, some air in here. We've got a little bit of a rip here, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. I'm just going to blast out what was in this tank. Okay, so that's all cleaned up. So I got to get this all lined up again since this whole stud came out of the block. <clears throat> Why don't I rectify that first? Remove this stud. So it's 10 on the back and a 10 nut here. So let's... Let's do that instead of causing myself a bunch of grief. I don't want grief. I want I want easy peasy. So put a 10 back there and break this tension on this thing. Oh, that's on there tight. I'm gonna have to give it some extra Tommy. Tommy time dynamite. Okay, so this is this is off. Now I can put this back in the block. That's backwards. Just give this a snug. Okay, so now, now we're cooking with fire. We got the two studs for the tank. Okay, I'll put two nuts on these to keep the tank on. Then I'll put my hose clamp on. Now would be a good time to look at the flywheel. If there's a bunch of rust on it, you could 
use a, some light sandpaper or a scouring pad or a brush, get rid of any rust on the flywheel since you have the recoil assembly off. Okay, so the only issue I see is this broken hose if we're going to be able to prime because I can't have any air leaks with this or it's not going to prime. So that might be an issue. What I could do is steal a little bit of length out of this and that would give me length on this end but it's so darn tight here on this nipple that I don't want to break this thing in two different places. Let me try to put a small screwdriver on this and see if I can do a little cheating. Tommy time cheat. Just need a little little bit extra. I think I I think I got a little bit extra. I did move it up a little bit. That might be just enough to get us to cheat. So let me get a razor and, and cut this little scraggly piece off. Unfortunately, the rubber on the plastic was super tight and we ended up cracking it. If it was just a breather hose, I wouldn't be so concerned, but we need a nice good fit tight fit for this primer to push air so we get gas moving around. Okay, so now let's get busy. Put this thing all back together again. This first That's on. Okay, here we go. You got to do two, three, three things at once. Line up the two bolts. Put the breather hose on and the pr little primer hose that I just broke. Okay, so I think I got the primer hose on the little brass nipple. Now it's time for the breather hose. I'm going to use some needle nose here and do a little cheating. Since I can't get my fingers down in there, it's, it's cheap. You can cheat on it, everything and anything but your taxes. Never cheat on your taxes. The government wants their share. Okay, so now two nuts, the bolt. I'll continue with my quarter inch drive with the 10 on it. So what else do we got to do? That's on tight. Uh-oh, you should have told me. You should have told me about that. We've got the gasket here to go. Hopefully I can no, I was going to squeeze, try to squeeze it on without messing anything up, and it just didn't work out that way. So, got to make sure this thing goes on right. 
the right way. I think this goes on like this because the impressions on the gasket match up with these impressions. Yeah. Yeah, the flat side was here against the flat machine side. So we got it. Just got to start over again. Manipulating this thing. Might have to do the cheat. I'll cheat on this, but not my taxes. I'll start with this hose first to make it easy. So the hardest thing was messing with these stupid hoses, taking the carb off and doing a little pokey poke was the easy part. Sometimes it's like that. You think the carb is so complicated, but getting all this crap lined up it's taken me longer than getting that rusty concoction out of the bottom of the bowl. Okay, so I think we got a nice, a nice tight fit for the um, primer bulb. We'll find out soon enough. Let's continue on. We still have the spark plug to discuss i took off the torch plug i want to talk about that that we get this on the ground put some fresh fuel in it and see if this power more assembled in china is going to be something that works Okay, so that's got to be tightened down. It's taken longer than I thought. Yeah, ho holy cow, it's taken a long time. You guys are going to fall asleep on me. I'm looking at my timer. Okay, so something like that. That looks like about right. Phillips on this. Okay, fuel system's ready to go. Let's move on to the plug. Remove the plug. We have a, a torch, Frank 5 Romeo Tango Charlie. I did a cross-reference in the Champion RN 11YC as a direct match. For the torch. So is in this Autolite 3924, which is a direct replacement for the Champion RN11YC. So you got your choice, an Autolite 3924, or you got a Champion RN11YC. It's got some carbon buildup. I'm just going to take a wire brush 
get rid of that carbon and put this thing back on. So this goes back on. Then we're going to put the recoil on and then put this thing on the ground. I still have to come up with an air filter. I think I can jimmy up something to cover up this. Otherwise, I'll have to do a little research and figure out where I can get a foam filter. The ones I've seen on this power mower, it's real, real thin foam. So I think I could come up with something better than the original. Okay, so that's on. I'm just going to take some air and blow out any this a little bit of crud up here just to clean up those air fins. Give this thing a flying chance to, to work. Clean up those uh, air veins. Just help the air flow. Cool this engine down. Every little bit helps. Okay. Let's let's get cooking. We got to start cooking with fire. Or nuclear fission anything you got to get this project going that was great it poured more dust in the the uh, intake there okay I'll lift this on the ground, we fuel it, pull and go, we live happily ever after. I've never had a video more than 35 minutes i think 30 to 32 minutes you guys are really hanging tough here on this power more you're really powering it up you got more power than i do i need a nap okay wow that didn't take long to fill that thing. I only wanted to put a little bit in and we're almost at the top. So that's got a tiny tank. You're going to be refueling every 20 minutes. Okay, let's see if this thing primes. I, f I hear some squishing. Hopefully it's pushing fuel. I don't see any leaking out of the bowl, which is a good thing. That means the gasket was good enough. Uh-oh. Oh, come on.
Okay, after three pulls is started, turned it off, and then we got it to start on its own on the first pull, so I'm happy with this. I appreciate you kids and cadets hanging out with me to look at this Zhang Chen powered machine, 132cc, the power more. This was built the fourth month of 2018. So just gave you an example of the carb clean on these power mowers, how to do it, clean them up, some things to look at. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking around. If you want to change out the plug that's in it, that torch, you can put a Champion RN11YC would be a good alternative or an Autolite 3924, which is a, a cross-referenced RN11YC plug. Thanks. Thanks for coming out. I may do another video on this Murray 500E next. I may keep the ball rolling. These go much quicker. This uh, power more. Zhang Chen was kind of a pain in the ass with those rubber hoses everything was stiff didn't want to come out didn't want to go back together just due to the tight location where this these hoses are behind that air filter backing plate anyway have a good day today thanks thanks again tip your waitress and wait staff get some rest take a nap relax